But, you know, Alexis Tsipras, the Greek prime minister, said on the 9th of June he was asked if there was a failure to agree a rescue deal, meaning Greece would default on its debts. He replied, I think that it is evident it would be the beginning of the end for the eurozone. Uh, that's that would another, be the case. That's one of the mistakes that they are making, the new Greek government, because of lack of experience and probably also because of a very radical ideological position. Uh, we have seen that the other countries... That can I say, sorry, a radical ideological, ideological position, position? They are. But they are just concerned about their people. They were voted in uh, on this massive yes, popular mandate. No, but, Is it uh, radical and ideological you, to you, be worried about your citizens? No, of course not. That's right. The question is that in the euro area we have now 19 countries and the other countries also have peoples and they have democracies and they have parliaments. So one country cannot impose on the other the conditions. So uh, that's fair enough to consider the concerns of the Greek people. But in fact, Greece was going much better now. According to the international organization's forecasts, Greece will be growing by 3% this year or next year. And since this government came, of course, there was again uncertainty. And uncertainty can be extremely serious. And as we have seen the programs have worked, program with Ireland worked, with Spain worked, with Portugal worked. So uh, the problem is so not no the program. Exception, no exception for no, no, Greece, we, even though they say, look, we've got unemployment is 28%, no, think, average income has decreased by 40%. We can't cut pensions by as much as you're no. saying. We can't increase after sales tax and no, all the rest should, of it. It's too I painful. Th I think we should be trying to accommodate the Greece's concerns, but to a certain point, because if not, if it appears that the euro area is an area without rules, that I mean, there is a change of government and the government can come with whatever proposal, I mean, that will be also detrimental for the euro. And that will indeed put in question the euro. So I really believe that today the ball is in the Greek side. Mm -hmm. And after all the sacrifices made by the Greek people, it's indeed a pity that we have a government that does right. not appear to me sufficiently sensitive to the concerns of the, of the Greek people because they want to stay in the euro by 80%. According to all the polls I've sure. seen, the Greeks want to stay in the euro. Sure, but what I was asking you was if, I mean, Greece runs out of money mm -hmm. because it can't agree a rescue package with the Troika, and then if it is forced to default on its debts, is Alexis Tsipras right that it will be the beginning of no. the end of the eurozone? I think no. no. So what, I think, we, of course, it's, not, it's bad if it happens uh, because it will be a taboo that is broken if a country leaves the economic and monetary union, it will be a precedent that is set. So it's not good if it happens. But frankly, we are no longer in the situation we it were. Happen? Uh, it could happen. Yes, it can happen if there is no agreement between Greece and the other countries. It's not uh, the, so only the Troika. So you're saying Brexit, Brexit yeah. as we call it, Brexit? you're saying is a distinct possibility. That's a possibility. I still will believe, it happen, do you think? I believe it will not happen. I trust that there will be some kind of common sense and wisdom on the side of the Greek government and also some spirit of compromise and accommodation on the other countries. But, uh, but, but in it, fact, it yeah. can happen. And what is indeed in a tragedy? it can happen. It can, I can happen. Okay. And if it does happen, does that mean then that the eurozone no, no, is I kaput? Think so. I think we have seen that uh, the euro is credible, strong and stable. It's one of the two biggest currencies in the world today. Uh, we have, uh, since the beginning of the crisis, created completely new instruments. And today, all the markets know so well. It could survive. That, it could survive. That, it's a specific Greek problem, but not really a problem for the euro as such. What Having said that, of course, I think it should not happen. It will always be detrimental if it happens.